Miss South Africa 2023 entries are open and we have to talk about our wish list for this year. Now I know a lot of people are getting so sick and tired of seeing the same contestants competing over and over again. I think this is more an issue in Namibia as it is in South Africa, but still I know a lot of people love to see new faces as well, especially because we haven't had a repeat contestant win in a while. I think Zozi was the last one, Shirufatsu was a first timer, Lalela was a first timer, and I think Ndabi was a first timer. But I, I just love some of the women on this list. Most of them are going to be re-entries if they do re-enter, but there are some who haven't entered Miss South Africa yet, but still I still do want to see them compete. So let's get into the list. First, I want Anazar to try again. I know, I know. Anazar tried in 2019 where she reached the top 35. Then she tried again in 2020 where she reached the top 15, but she unfortunately didn't make it onto the stage, which is pre preserved usually for like the top 10 or top 12. So in 2022, Anazad did reach the top 10, but unfortunately went no further. And honestly, I just, I see something in Anazad, okay? The fact that she was able to go from 35, 15, 10, I feel like just one more try, just one more try. I want to see Anazad try again at Miss South Africa because I just feel like this woman is so capable. There's definitely something in her. She has the it factor. She has the sparkle. So I want to see Anazad try again for the fourth time. Then another girl from the 2022 batch that I would love to see try again is Tamsin Jack. She did get married recently. Not exactly sure what her new surname is now. But she, did, she is married, but luckily South Africa allows married women, so she can definitely try again. She was top five at Miss South Africa 2022. I just love Tamsin. There's something about Tamsin that I think is so beautiful and I want her to be Miss South Africa or at least represent South Africa abroad. Another woman who I think has the it factor, especially when it comes to speaking, she definitely gives Shirufatsu and Zozi when it comes to speaking is, of course, Miss Zimi Mabunzi, who was just the she was the most gorgeous speaker. Oh my goodness. I loved her when she competed in 2021. She was a runner up back then, which usually means that she would represent South Africa abroad. But of course, we know that didn't end up happening. Um, she never went abroad and Lalela went to both Miss Universe and Miss Supranational where Shirufadzu, the previous winner, went to Miss World. So Zimi never, never got to go anywhere. I would love to see Zimi try again. I think the fact that she didn't represent South Africa overseas should mean that she should be able to compete again, which I would love to see. Then we have Melissa Nayamuli. If you guys remember this gorgeous woman, she competed at Miss South Africa 2020, where she was in the top five. Oh my goodness and i remember her being so many people's favorite she had such a beautiful message of you know loving each other and accepting each other and being anti-xenophobic and stuff like that she was just the most gorgeous contestant and i really 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 want to see her try again for the crown then we also have to talk about ex miss sa contestant miss luyanda zuma who this year actually competed at Miss Charm 2023. Now, Miss Charm is a brand spanking new pageant. Um, she's not on the wall yet, okay? Uh, which I, I don't know if I'm gonna put Miss Charm on the wall. I mean, she, she just needs to, you know, she just needs to show us a bit more. Miss Charm is a very new pageant based out of the Vietnam and Luyanda actually went and competed at Miss Charm this year representing South Africa where she got a spot in the top six. Now she wasn't sent by the Miss South Africa organization but I definitely think that Luyanda should try for Miss South Africa again. She did compete at Miss South Africa once upon a time, um, did pretty well and I, I would love to see her try again because I definitely think she also has the it factor. Perhaps from what I've seen at Miss Charm, perhaps Luanda should wait just a little bit, but 
I definitely think that she also has what it takes to potentially pull a zozi on us and go from, you know, being a finalist, not winning, and then winning. Then we have Taylor Sky Robinson. I don't know if you guys remember this woman. She was second runner up at Miss South Africa. And then she also went on to place in the top 15 at Miss International 2017. Now, some of these women on this list are just about 28. Now, with the cutoff age of Miss Universe being 28, I'm not exactly sure whether or not some of these girls are still legally allowed to enter. But I do think that Miss Universe is going to up their um, age requirements pretty soon. You know, judging by what has recently been happening talked about i mean the final question last year one of the final questions at miss universe was what rule would you change and of course arbany talked about the age limit arbany herself is 28 um so i'm hoping that the age limit across pageantry will be up like to the mid 30s um of course miss world wouldn't follow this but Honestly, if Miss World doesn't want to evolve, just kick them, honestly. I just, I don't care. Like, if you don't want to get with the times, then just leave. <laughs> anyway, so I would love to see Taylor trying again for the Miss South Africa title because I just think she has a lot of potential. Then I would also love to see Nompumulelo Maduna try again. She was top five at Miss South Africa 2019, of course, the year that Sozi won. And she was also top 20 at Miss Earth. 2021, which of course was a virtual pageant, but still, I think Nompumulelo has a lot of potential and she could potentially be a future Miss South Africa. Oh my goodness, guys, how could I forget Ria Betswe Sekoro, who of course was the second runner up of Miss International 2018 and also was present in the top eight at Miss South Africa 2017. Again, I did some research and it looks like Ria Betswe is just about 28 so i think she still has some time left and if not just wait for the age limit to be raised girl because i want to see her try again for miss south africa so badly now we're going to be talking about four girls who haven't competed at miss south africa or tried for miss south africa yet first we have nozipo magagula who was top 16 at miss earth 2016. i also want to see lungo katete try for miss south africa she was top 20 at miss earth 2020 also belinda schreder who was top 21 at miss grand international 2019 representing south africa and then last Lastly, speaking of Miss Grand, I really, 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 really want to see Jeanne Van Damme try for Miss South Africa. I mean, the woman was fourth runner up at Miss Grand International 2021. And honestly, I think she has what it takes. She's a bit short, apparently. But that shouldn't stop her. I mean, she is just the cutest little firecracker fireball. And she did us so proud at Miss Grand, which South Africa has never done particularly well at. I just think that this girl is very adaptable. That's how she comes across. She comes across as being very adaptable, lively. You know, she wants to be there. She wants to give it her all. And I think that Jeanne should definitely try her luck at Miss South Africa. Now, I know a lot of these women, especially the last ones that I've mentioned, they have competed internationally, you know. And I think that this is one of the things that Anne really doesn't want. She doesn't want any girls who have competed at other international pageants, perhaps especially Miss Grand, to come and compete at Miss Universe. But, you know, I won't tell her if you won't. I think we should all just shh, tell her. And it should be fine. Anyway, guys, that is my wish list for Miss South Africa 2023. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.